Hi, welcome to the Gear Garage. My name is Zach. This is my little show about whitewater stuff. And this, in this episode, I want to talk about this Blue Water Sling. This is designed for mostly climbing applications, but these are really nice for whitewater. I want to kind of show what they're used for and why. So just quickly, historically, uh, we used, we brought with us this one inch tubular webbing. We'd store it in our pocket or put it around our waist, which is an entrapment hazard potentially. Uh, but this is what most guys use typically. And this is great stuff because it's strong and it's durable and it has a lot of different uses. And I'll show you the uses in a second. This is a more modern version of it, I think. And kind of some advantages quickly is it has sewn loops. So if you have a carabiner with it, you don't need to tie a knot in it. It's also smaller. It's about half an inch thick. And because it has spectra built into it, it's some proprietary spectra thing, it's almost as strong as the webbing. So the webbing is still stronger. And again, with these things, strength isn't usually a major issue, but just to know this is about, this is about 25% weaker than this, but with this, you have to tie a knot into it. And if you tie a water knot into it to make a loop, it removes about a, a third of its strength at the knot. So they're about a wash in terms of strength because you don't have knots tied in this. There are sewn eyelets in this, but they're rated at the strength of the material. So, so the sewn eyelets are, are, are probably stronger than the material. So, so I'm, I still pad this in my safety kit, but I don't carry it on my person anymore. And again, one big advantage is I don't need knots to make a loop and it's just smaller and lighter and easier to work with. And the things that I use this for pretty commonly are one mainly is a flip line. If a boat flips upside down, you want to put a carabiner onto something like this, clip it to a D-ring, and then you're going to stand up on the boat and pull back and flip it over. And it's really nice when you're doing this to use a loop because you can kind of pull back on the loop itself. If it's just one strand of rope, your hands slip and you can fall off when you're doing it. So if I'm leaning back hard to flip, I want to make a loop. And when I'm trying to figure out the size of this, I look at my boat and what happens when I stand up, right? How big of a loop allows me to pull back. So sizing is a little bit of an issue. I find that the most sizes work for everybody, but you could size these perfectly. So one use case is as a flip line. Another use case is as, as a really quick two point anchor. So if somebody throws you a rope to your boat, it's best case or best practice to attach it to two D-rings and not just one. There's a few reasons why I'm not gonna go into them, but it's really easy with this. You clip it together like this. This is called the American Death Triangle, by the way. You solve the American Death Triangle by pulling this up into here. And now I have a two point anchor, right? The angle here is 90. Those of you that know about two point anchors, this isn't awesome. This isn't bad though, but you really want to decrease this angle. So, you know, with D-rings this far apart, this barely cuts it. So if I had a D-ring here, I'd be in good shape. But if your D-rings are even further apart, you'll need the webbing. This won't work for a two point anchor. But if you have the right D-rings, this works okay. Um, and again, if I have a, ideally I have a D-ring here where it's, it's like a, a nice 40-ish degree angle. The other cool thing is when I do this anchor with webbing, I always have to put a twist in the webbing, but because this is attached to the eyelets, I don't need to do that. So it's just pull this thing up, good. I'm ready to take a throw bag and attach it on. So that's another great use for this is a quick two-point anchor. And the other thing I use it for is just generally like clipping onto things. So, you know, if you're on the shore and, and you want to grab the boat, but you can't really hold the boat right here because it's like it's moving around, I'll just pull this out really quick and then clip it on my carabiner and I have like a little mini leash for my boat. So I kind of hold my boat here and let it kind of move around a little bit. If I'm doing a really easy line, I can use this from any D-ring, super easy to attach on. I'd probably actually clip the you know, to be honest with you, what I would do is not run through the D-ring, but I would take this here, already clipped, and I would just quickly take it, clip it on the D-ring, I have it on, and then unclip this, and it's free. And also, if I'm perched on a rock, and I want to pull on, on it a little bit, if I'm, if I'm just pulling the handle, my weight's here. But if I just attach this really quick, I can get over here, lighten up this rock, and it might come through. So this is a nice, easy way to like, handle your boat getting stuck, changing the pull a little bit, trying things out. It's just an all around awesome tool. I'm a real fan that everybody should have something on them for these purposes. Again, if your boat flips, you need to flip it over. Nobody can send you the gear. If 
you're stuck in a rock and you need a two point anchor, it's hard for people to get you the stuff you need. If you have this on your person, you can quickly do it. And again, if you're doing some moving your boat and you need a quick leash on your boat, then it's nice to have this for a quick clip. But one thing about these to me is the storage is really important. So the nice thing about this versus webbing is it packs up really small. Webbing is bulkier, it takes up more space in your PFD. This is a pretty minimal amount of space where a tool it is. And so with the Astral PFD, you know, I could stick it in this top pocket and make it very accessible. The issue is like typically in here I have like my sunglasses, my phone, my chapstick. And so when I pull this out in a flip situation or a quick rush, all that stuff might go free. So, and this takes up space here. On the Astro PFDs, they have a nice pocket here on the side. Then when I wear this PFD, I store them in these little side pockets. The only issue to me with these side pockets is that I'm not the most flexible dude. I need to do more yoga, I get that. So when I need it quickly, I have to reach over here and unzip this thing and get to it. It doesn't deploy that quick. And sometimes you want this to deploy really quickly. So the Astro back jacket's good. I'm really digging this palm jacket lately because it has the little pocket that the Astral has where I can put my sunscreen and my snacks and my phone. But it also has these really cool side pockets behind it. And that's where I've been storing it. And so since I've been wearing this PFD more and storing it and it's quick to get to, it's quick to put back, I, uh, I really have been using this way more. It's not as much of a pain to get to this. I'll pull this out for just the smallest thing. So this is sort of like an all around awesome tool to have. And so, you know, ideally it's stored somewhere easy to get to so you can use it for all the different things, uh, but it's up to you. And again, it being smaller, if this was webbing, this would barely fit in these pockets and it would be a little bit more difficult in here. So anyway, this is the Blue Water Sling. I'll put a link to where you get on Amazon down here in the, in the links below. And um, yeah, that's, that's these things I've been kind of promoting you in different videos for different things. I've just been using them so much lately that I'm a huge fan. So that's it for this episode. Don't forget to lightly tap the subscribe button, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next episode.